Hello friends, today we will cover two gardening topics in this video. Firstly, we will look into how to tell if a plant is dead or alive and secondly on how to revive a dying plant that is how to recover or save an almost dead plant or a dying plant with a scientific basis. That's coming up. Welcome back. If you are a hobby gardener or interested in growing plants, consider subscribing to this channel. Also turn on the notification bell icon and you won't miss anything. First of all, we will look into the important signs and symptoms to declare a plant is dead or alive. And if alive, how critical its condition is and whether its resuscitation or revival is possible or not and whether it should be attempted or not. At the end, we will also look into the hacks to save a dying plant. The question, is my plant dead, seems easy question to answer. But the truth is that telling whether a plant is truly dead can be a difficult task sometimes. Plants do not have vital signs like heartbeat or respiratory movements. And hence, difficult to tell if it is truly dead or alive. Instead, you have to rely on some subtle clues or subtle signs. First sign is your plant should have lost all of its leaves or the leaves should have gone brown and dry. But wait, do not panic here. We will go on checking the next vitals of the plant. That is, checking the stems. The stems of the plant should be pliable and firm and will have a green cast on the inside if they are still alive. Check this by scratching the stem. If it is green and juicy, it's still alive. And if the stem is mushy or brittle, then I'm afraid you should have to go and check the next side. Then the next is checking the roots for the same. That is, the roots should be pliable and firm. If both the stems and roots are brittle and mushy, the plant is dead and no point in wasting time on reviving these plants. And one more question is, is the plant really worth saving? The next step is to decide if you really want to make the effort of nursing the plant back to health. Keep in mind that a plant may still die despite your best efforts. Also, the plant will look utterly pathetic for weeks, months and even years. Is this worth spending the time to recover? Or are you getting a similar healthy plant at your local nursery or store for a reasonable price? If this is a plant that has some sentimental values or it is hard to find, then certainly it's worth saving the plant. Otherwise, you should just, just drop it. Well, now on the plant reviving hacks, what to do when only the roots are still alive? If the roots are still good but the stems are dead, you will be hoping that the plant regrows from the roots. The first point here is cut away the dead stems by scratching and checking its uh, viability uh, uh, and also pliability. Sometimes as you get closer to the roots, the parts of the stem may be still alive. And if you do find a living stem, try to leave as much as possible above the roots. But here you are seeing there is hardly any living stem in this plant. But the roots are still looking pliable and are not brittle. But the stem looks completely dead and this plant might be difficult to save. But still I shall continue the revival process just for the sake of demonstration in this video. Well, if you find no living stem, leave at least 2 inches of the stem intact above the soil. Now I shall apply two hacks on this poor plant. Firstly, soak the roots in a solution of hydrogen peroxide for few hours. I'll let you know the exact concentration of this solution shortly. Hydrogen peroxide that is H2O2 and water is H2O. So it has an extra atom of oxygen in it and it's really great for plants. By soaking your plants in hydrogen peroxide solution, it actually replicates this natural substance found in raindrops. You can watch my detailed video on the top benefits of hydrogen peroxide in gardening from a link at top right corner of this video, but after you finish this video. Well, the concentration for this solution I am using is one part of hydrogen peroxide in 30 parts of water. Then what you have to do is repot this poor plant in a well draining regular potting soil or potting mix you use for your plants. Then apply the second hack. Second hack is whenever you water this plant, of course, only after checking the soil surface for dryness, you add Epsom salt, about 2 teaspoons in 500 ml of water. 
Epsom salt contains hydrated magnesium sulfate that is uh, magnesium. Magnesium helps strengthen the plant's cell walls and helps in absorption of nutrients from the soil by these roots. Then few more tips you can follow are the place the plant in condition where it gets roughly less than half the amount of sunlight than uh, the normal recommendation for this plant. Water only when the soil is dry to touch. Finally, if the plant is recovering, you will see new stem sprouts from around the remaining stem in one or two months. Otherwise, you can declare it completely dead and perform its last rites. If you still do not want to give up, reach in the roots to see if the plant has died completely. So there we have it folks. That was our interesting topic on saving a dying plant. Please share your thoughts and similar experiences in the comment section below the video. Please give a thumbs up to the video if you like it and also consider subscribing to the channel if you are new to the channel. Happy gardening.